Hey, what's up, family? What's up? What's up? This is your brother Garfield, and um, I want to have a quick conversation with you guys about Ethiopia. All right, if you don't mind. All right. So what I'm gonna do is, damn, I can't even share my screen, man. I was gonna show you guys basically. If you go to the Wikipedia article, right, on Ethiopia, right? I got a whole file on Ethiopia. What I'm gonna do is this, right? I'm going live. And I want to tag everybody to this live real quick. Let me tag these people that's on what's his name post. All right. I'm going to tag all of, the, all of those people who promoting that they love Haile Selassie. I want to tag them all to my post. And what I'm going to do is, family, I want you all to pay attention to what I'm showing you. Okay. All right. Ethiopia. Right. As we know it. Ethiopia. Again, let me stress to you guys. Ethiopia as we know it today is not the Ethiopia of the Bible. All right. Now we're going to use a basic source. And everybody could complain about Wikipedia. As you see, it's Wikipedia's article on Ethiopia. If you look at the article at the bottom here that says nomenclature, right? I want you all to pay attention. The Greek name Ethiopia is a compound word derived from two Greek words which mean I burn up's face. According to the Perseus Digital Library, the designation properly translates as burned face in known, in noun form and red brown in adjectival form. Now listen to me carefully now. The historian Herodotus used the appellation to denote those parts of Africa below the Sahara that were known within the Ecumene. However, the Greek formation, the Greek formation, right? Hold on, where am I at? Where am I at? The Greek formation by a folk etymology for the ancient Egyptian such and such, they made that up. Anyway, this Greek name was borrowed into Amaric as Itopia. Look, the Greek name was borrowed into Amaric as Itopia. Now, in Greco-Roman epigraphs, Ethiopia was a specific toponym for ancient Nubia. Ancient Nubia. At least as early as... Eight, and by the way, if you don't trust... Right here. Right here. Look at it. Axum and Nubia, warfare, commerce, and political, political fictions in ancient Northeast Africa. It's a book from 2013. At least as early as 850, the name Ethiopia also occurs in many translations of the Old Testament in allusion, keyword, in allusion to Nubia. The ancient Hebrew texts identify Nubia instead as Cush. So when you learn to read Hebrew, you're not going to see Ethiopia. You're going to see Cush. What happened is when the English people start translating it into English, that's when you start finding people saying Cush is really e translated as Ethiopia. Because guess what? In the New Testament, the Greek term Aetiop, Aetiop or whatever it's called, where is it at? Does occur referring to a servant of Candake, the queen of Cush. So ladies and gentlemen, the whole time I'm in Jamaica, me and my Rasta brothers and sisters have been talking about Ethiopia, moving back to Ethiopia. It's not the right place. Garfield, what are you saying, Garfield? We could go back to the Demet Empire. Look at this. Go back to the Demet Empire and all of them. Let's, let's look at Demet. You see that? You see where that spot is? That's not Nubia. Let's go back to the Aksumite Empire. Go to Aksum, see? Aksum actually took over a piece of Nubia. Go to the Zagwe dynasty, you see? These, this is not Nubia. It was never Nubia. The Ethiopian Empire, let's click on that and look at the map that they have of Ethiopia. Look at that. That's not Nubia family, see? This is Nubia to it right here. This part is Nubia. Hold on, let me, let me, let me show it. See that? To the left of it, all of this right here is Nubia. All of that is Nubia. This is Ethiopia. You see Eritrea to the right of it. They were never a part. Listen, family, this is one of the most biggest hoodwings that has ever happened. And as a matter of fact, the, um, the Magi, 
when I first met the Magi, the question I asked him was, bro, uh, why are we calling Nubia, Ethio is Ethiopia Nubia? Because there's a confusion now. Because in the Bible, it's referring to Cush right here. It's not referring to this area here. So this is where the confusion comes in. Because we are trying to learn the true history of a place called Ethiopia. So the Jamaicans are getting land in this area when the, actually the Jamaicans believe this area is the biblical Cush when it's really this area which is Nubia. This is, this is serious family because Nubia have their own history. So all this time I'm in Jamaica and the Rastafari them are wearing them red, black and green or them red, green and yellow to represent the Ethiopian flag. When it's really this area they should be concerned with. So your 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 No, not in that sense, Amujao. Not in that sense. Nubia is for, we're, what we're calling Nubia is what we call Sudan today. That's why I know it's not the proper name. It's really Tarsedi. But I'm saying it because people don't understand. Nubia is what the Bible is calling Kush. Not Ethiopia of today. So how could this man be a descendant of anybody? So when you talk about Ethiopia, Solomon is from, from um, Eile Selassie, is from here, and so forth. Come on, family, that's garbage. This is where the Bible is talking about, about Kush. And it shows the borders. I don't, I don't know about all of that. But when we look at the 25th dynasty, right? And they talk about where they ran to. That wasn't in no borders of Egypt, brother. That wasn't in no borders of Egypt. But my point is, family, it's not here. This is Ethiopia today. This ain't got nothing to do with Cush in the Bible. Nothing at all. And the Bible even tells you the description. First cataract, second cataract, giving you the descriptions of where Sudan is or Nubia is. So all this time y'all debating about Haile Selassie and want to create like he's some god, he's born in the wrong area. Ethiopia is not Ethiopia. It's not. They got the name because of colonization. Colonization. Anyway, family, <laughs> as, I, as I showed with the article, Kush, Kush family, right here. See that? See the flag? We follow the Ethiopian flag and Amorite and Gies. That ain't got nothing to do with the biblical Ethiopia. Even look at the gods that they worship. The gods that they worship, family, this is key now. The god that they worship is even the better key. They didn't know about, no, listen, family, the god that they worship in ancient, what we call Ethiopia today, in the Aksumite Empire, you could see who they trace their lineage to. They ain't trace it to no Solomon. Hold on a second. Let me let me show you, my brother. Let me let me go back to the map. The map is right here. See that, brother? That's Ethiopia today. This area. This is where e is Egypt. Egypt is above up here. This line right here. Got my cursor is on. Egypt is over there. This is what they call Sudan. Sudan is what they call Cush in the Bible. Right here. Right here. Kush is right here. Jose Vega, those maps calling Ethiopia was after 1600. Stop it. Ain't nobody calling no all of Africa Ethiopia. Stop it. That's recent. Look again. This is Ethiopia. Look beside it. To the left is what? What we call Sudan today. Up further is where Egypt is. We got to stop playing games. There's an article that's called Ethiopia is Kush. In the Bible, they changed the name 
from, from Kush to Ethiopia. That's where the problems and the confusion come in. And then everybody, they renamed that area after King Izana, Ethiopia. Hassan Rahim, yes sir. There you go. It wasn't talking about Ethiopia. So people talking about how I'm from Kush and all that stuff. And Kush means cash and you can talk all that linguistic craziness. All I'm saying is, it's not this area. This area that's Ethiopia, it's not that area. Period. So when they talk about the River Nile, you got to go to the maps and look at the aerial maps and see where the, the Nile runs because the Nile is the longest river in the world. You got to see the Nile running through Somalia and all that stuff. You're going to see where the Nile is. So anything they're talking about the Nile is not about no Ethiopia. It's talking about, well, as my brother just said, pointed out to me, Tanahisi, 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 or Tanahisi, and the river Nile runs through Egypt, it runs through Somali. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, my brother, it couldn't be it couldn't be south of modern Ethiopia. No, sir. No, sir. That is incorrect. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Family and friends? <laughs> It gives credence to the, my wife will tell you that's what Ethiopia wasn't wasn't called Ethiopia. It was called Abyssinia. I don't know spell that one time. It's actually Habisha. Habisha. Hab Habisha, which Abyssinia comes from. That is correct. But that's this location. Now let me Google something for y'all right now, real quick. Look at Nubia, right? Let's look at Nubia for a second. Let's just look at Nubia and look at the map. That it that it pops up. See? If you look at the map of Nubia, see? Look at that. You see Upper Egypt, Lower Egypt. You see Upper Egypt. Look at that. See that? The Red Sea. All this stuff here is Kush. And down below, you see Meru, right? Meru was the capital of what? What was Meru the capital of? What was it the capital of? That's not Ethiopia family. Now look at, look at this right now. Look at a map. Hold on, I'm going to show you a different map. Hold on. Hold on, let me go back. Hold on a second. Let's look at a map of Africa. Let's look at a map of Africa. And when you look at a map of Africa, see, here's a map. All right, here's a map to the side right here. I'm going to put that on the big screen for y'all. Oh, man. Oh, they took it off. Look at this map right here. You see the map? See the names? Where is, where is Libya? You see Libya? You see Egypt? You see Sudan? Juba? See that? Kenya? Somalia? Ethiopia? Right there. See the Yemen? The Yemenites? And you see Eritrea. The Yemenites were part of the Aksumite Empire. They were all one. In the Dimit Empire, they worshipped an Arabic god called Al-Maka. I know the history of Ethiopia very well. In the 4th century, they worship Yehu, Yeha. They, and guess what? They worship Amon, the Egyptian Amon. That's what they worship 4th century AD. I know all the gods that they worship. All, I know all the gods they worshipped. Period. And the reason why the Aksumite Empire was good, because guess what, family? Umbos and come, come umbo. Okay, I'll put it up in a second. Now look at this, family. Look at this right here, right? So Ethiopia's capital is Addis Ababa, right? Why, why did um, why during the time of Taharka, what was the capital of Sudan or Kush? What was the capital of Kush? Meru. You see, Ethiopians talking about, about Haile Selassie come from Ethiopia. This man tried to sell Ethiopians, sell people 
to get back his kingship. Sell Ethiopians, family. So when Chief X talk about their slaves, I know what he's talking about. That, that dude came to, came to New York and didn't even want to talk to Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey blasted him. Y'all forget that? Why would he blast him? Why would he blast them, family? Why would Eilis Selassie be blasted by Marcus Garvey? Because he didn't care. While in America, Marcus Garvey got black Americans and ADOS to go fight for Ethiopia when the Italians was whooping their ass. We got people to fight for Haile Selassie. But while he was in England hiding underneath the white man's bed, when he was exiled, what happened? He tried to tell the Italians, oh, I will sell you the Eritreans and the people in the north. I will sell my people to get back the kingship. That is the truth. That was in the negotiations. So don't tell me about no damn Selassie. Man was a disgrace. Now, no, no, people are going to say, well, he did this and he did that. No. By him selling his own people, he, there is nothing he can do to make up for that. That's like me going back to Jamaica and say, oh, you know what? I'm going to sell the people in, in Portmore and say, because I never like cartel. I never like Gaza. And I'm, I'm all, all about alliance. So I'm going to sell those people to Cuba to make sure I could get some more power. Shit is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Haile Selassie should be scorned. This is why one of the reasons why I'm learning Hebrew. Because when I go back to Jamaica, all them pastors that preach, ain't not one of them could read the language. But they want to teach people about the Bible. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Um, let me get that. What information um, Ujjawa just said again? Ujjawa said to do what again, my brother? He said pull up what? The umbos. Let's pull up the umbos. He said pull up umbos and come. Umbos. And. Come umbo. Come umbo. Now look at come umbo right now. See? Go ahead, my brother. Wujao knows more about this than me. People want belief. They don't want truth, family. They don't want they don't want they don't want belief. They want they don't they don't want truth. They want belief. That's what they want. Location in Egypt. Come, come umbo. And what's what's the other one you said? Hold on there. What what he said again? Yeah, man. This shit is this shit is this shit is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All I gotta say is, man, them people lying about the Ethiopian Empire the whole time. Lying. But how could we be fooled? To not know that Ethiopia is not the right Ethiopia. Why were we fooled? Why were we fooled? You know why? Because the Zionists are the ones that went there and told them that they were descendants of Israelites. Yeah, the Zionists told them that. Now you got my Jamaicans. My Jamaicans wearing this flag. The green, yellow and red flag. For what? Haile Selassie is one of the worst human beings ever. When he went to Jamaica, man, he wanted to shit on the black people down there, man. Yo, Selassie, come on. Ray, 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 and all this foolishness. Then the Kebra Nagas. Let's go to the Kebra Nagas. Hold on a second. Let me go back over there. I'm not, I don't even want to go that deep. But anyway, family, let me, let me, let me tell you all something. The Kebra Negas was written by Arabs. Do you hear what I just said? The Kebra Negas was written by Arabs. And then they translated it into Gies. Did you know that, Ethiopian people? Did you know that? Did you know that when they checked... I'm going to show you how much of a fraud they are. 
these people. The Jews allowed them to go to, to go to go to Israel. Did you know that they realized that they weren't genetically connected to the ancient Canaanites? Did y'all know that? The DNA proved that? Did y'all know that family? The people in Israel right now, the only reason why they made the Ethiopians stay because that was their key to getting back that region. They used Ford and Wentworth, the, 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 the dude, used Ford and Wentworth here in America and told them that they were Jews. But told them, yeah, you Jews and we related. That's how the white folks got into Israel. That's how they got it. That's how you get into Israel. So they use us. The Zionists use us. Black people in America. Yes, the same people that teach about the... um. I'm confusing the feather and the gas with the camera and the gas. Peter Vukatic, stop it. Why don't you press that green button and teach me? Come on, come on down. Come on down and teach me, brother. We need to stop lying to the people, family. Ethiopia is not Ethiopia. It's not. I'm talking about the dudes that went back, the Zionists. I'm talking about the Zionists that was here. They made um, upstate New York, Israel. They wanted to make um, all type of different places. They went to Wentworth and, and funded them. Let's look it up and see if Garfield is lying. Who is called the father of the Falashas? Look at this. Let's Google it. Father of the Falashas. Look at this. Look at what pops up. Look, who name, look whose name pops up as I Google it. Look at what I Google. Father of the Falashas. Whose name, whose name popped up? Who is that? Jake Fetlovich. Let's look at Jake Fetlovich and look at the, um, what do you call it? Let's look at Jake Fetlovich for a second. Let's look at Jake Fetlovich. Hold on one second. I'm not going to move. I'm not, I'm not going to move yet. Look at this. I'm going to copy his name. And look what happened with Jake Fetlovich. He's called the father of the Falashas. Look what happened when I Google his name, family. Look what happened. Look what happened. See? Y'all love talking about Google and all this stuff. Look at what Google produced. Look at this. Look at this. I want y'all to read it together with me. Read it together. Jake Fetlovich, an Ashkenazi Jew, born in Lodz Congress, Poland, studied Ethiopian languages at the Sorbonne under Joseph Halivai, he traveled to Ethiopia for the first time in 1904 with the support of who? Somebody type that in the chat right now. Who supported him? Who is that? Whose name is that? We love conspiracy theories, but whose name is that? Come on in, come on in, Keith. I mean, Peter. Whose name is that? These people are liars. Liars. Peter Vokotovich, how are you, Peter? Peter? Can you hear me? Greetings. How you how you got to this live stream, by the way? Somebody tagged you? I mean, I was commenting on that one uh, post, and then you said, let's go live, so I clicked on your profile. All right. Now, let me ask you a question, beloved. You're What's saying up, something about the, about the Keber, Keber Nagas. What about the Keber Nagas? Well, I think you said something about, uh, I think you said the Keber Nagas was originally written in Arabic. I think you're confusing that with the Feather Nagas, the law of the kings. You're confusing the glory of the kings with the Feather Nagas. That was actually first written in Arabic. Uh, the Keber Nagas, though, that's like a, that's like a, a biblical book. Um, the Feather Nagas is actually... Uh, it was written in Arabic uh, for Christians living within a Muslim society to know, like, secular and religious laws. Okay. All I right. mean, they're so easily confused. They're, the books are easily confused. I just wanted to know. I, the reason I'm live in you right now is I want to know why all, all this information that you're saying, what does that have to do with the divinity of his majesty? The divinity of his majesty. His majesty is not from Ethiopia, and he's not connected to Solomon. And who said he's the majesty? Whose majesty is he? What do you mean he's not from Ethiopia? Who's maj he's not from Ethiopia because Ethiopia today is not the Ethiopia of the Bible. Well, I think you're wrong because the Bible is subject to interpretation. 
No, 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 no. The Bible says Kush. That's what the Bible says. That's all the Bible says. The, the problem is the name Ethiopia was given to that region at another date after King Izana's time. It wasn't named so, Ethiopia first. They took that name. Hold on. I'm going to tell you right now. Let's, let's, let's get, I'm going to give you some scriptures so you could see the definition. If you go by the geography of the biblical text, you will see for yourself. Let me go to some of my notes from my book real quick. Hold on one second. Let me just bring up some stuff. Yeah, I just, I just want to tell you, my man, that uh, you're saying, Imagine you're saying me. that. <laughs> That's funny. You're, you're saying that you're saying that some versions of the Bible say Kush. Not I'm some not versions that. of the Bible. Not some yeah. versions of the Bible. All versions of the Bible. I would disagree because there are some there are some versions that say Ethiopia specifically. My brother, Ethiopia was never in the Bible. That's some AD era they put that in. It was always Kush. It was always Kush, my man. Always Kush. Let's just get that right. So now you need to show me Ethiopia written in, in the original. In the original show Bible? Ethiopia was never written, it was never written in the Bible until the English, brother. <laughs> so what are you talking about? What Bible? So you reject King James Version, you reject English Bibles. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't reject, I, I reject all Bibles, period, who have, who's not, who's not based off the original. The King James Bible is full of mistranslation, but let's use the King James Bible for a, se for a second. Why do they use the word Ethiopia? The word Ethiopia was not used in the biblical text. It was always Kush. We, I could bring up the Bible hub right now, the original, and show you the JPS Tanakh, and it doesn't say Ethiopia. It says Kush. And in fact, I could parse it for you, actually, live right now. I'm very aware of the, of the Bible versions that say Kush, and I'm very aware of the Bible versions that say Ethiopia. But as a Rastafarian, our hold disposition... Hold on, you're a Rastafarian? The Bible, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're a Rastafarian? As Rastafarians, our dispositions of the Bible... I want the blood clot, this. I want this father. No, sir. Well, I don't want to it's getting hot right now. So you are a Rastafarian. So you're basing your Rastafarianism. All right, let me, let, me, let me show you something right here. Look at this family. I'm going to show you. This is a, something that I use as a source for my book. When I lived in Western Ethiopia, a friend came to my home with a biblical question that had a very personal application for him. He had grown up near the Sudan-Ethiopian border, spending part of his life in Sudan, part of it in Ethiopia. He was puzzled by different English translations of Psalm 68, 31. Some translation said Ethiopia would raise her hands to God. Another translation said Sudan. And even different editions of the GNB varied in this. He asked, which country is the Bible referring to in this passage, Ethiopia or Sudan? So it got confusing. So now, but when you look at the Bible now, the, the problem is the term Kush is found over 40 times in the Old Testament Translating this term has been a persistent problem for translators. Generally, earlier translations into English use the word Ethiopia. But in the last 40 years, there has been also a trend to use other words such as Kush, Nubia, or Sudan. Adamo advocates using Africa. But anyway, when you look at the biblical text and the geography, what happens, family? is that the word is actually Kush. And Kush is the location. Look at it. Many of the references are to a specific land of Kush, a specific powerful kingdom just south of Egypt. It was so powerful and well known that there was contact with Assyria, evidenced by the discovery of a tablet bearing the seals of Kush and Assyria and contact with Persia, documented by Herodotus. The Kush mentioned in the Bible, several biblical references, pointing to the location of Cush, clearly link it with Egypt, such as Ezekiel 39, Psalm 68, 31, um, Nahum 3, 8, and Isaiah 23 to 5. We find a specific location, putting it just to the south of Egypt, when Ezekiel 29, 10 speaks of punishment coming on Egypt from Migdal to Syene, as far as the border of Cush. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, every time you hear the word Cush, it's talking about what we call I miss Norma Nubia, but it's really Kush as far as where the Sudan is located and further up.
It ain't got nothing to do with Ethiopia. And this has been a fraud that's been on us for over a thousand years. So look at this guy now. He's now saying that he's a Rastafarian. Now, and all my Jamaicans right now watching this, this is your new age, modern Rastafarian. Look at this. Right now, what's his name? What's his name, Aku? The guy that started Rastafarianism. What's his name? Um, Leonard Howell. Leonard Howell is turning in his grave right now. He's turning in his grave. Because anybody could claim Rasta. How come you don't grow your locks, brother? How come you don't grow your locks? Well, because his Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I, first of all, never had dreadlocks. Second of all, it was in a law in Imperial Ethiopia to have locks. But I just want to ask you, when Moses married an Ethiopian, is she not an Ethiopian woman? I want to know how far your... It's not, the word is not Ethiopian, brother. They changed that, brother. The word Ethiopia okay. was never in the Bible. Well, let me tell you something, my man. As hold on, hold on, hold on. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, just to show the audience and be fair, because I really appreciate you taking the time out to come on, because you didn't have to come on. But let's take a look at this for a second now. Let's take you, a look you, at this. We're going we to look at, hold on. We're going to go to... You forced um, my hand. You forced my hand because you said his majesty was, was one of the worst people in history. And that's just... He that's was. just agreement incorrect. He was. How can he you say that? He tried to sell his people to, to Italy, bro. He tried to sell his people to get back to kingship. That's crazy. I, honestly, I don't think so because Mussolini actually offered him land in exchange for Ethiopia and he completely outright refused. You know, Bro, that's in the when he was in England, he had a meeting. He had a meet. Hold on. When he was in London, he had a meeting through his through his intermediary with the people in France. They met with the Italians, and one of the offers they had on the table, he would sell the Eritreans. He would sell the, the, the um not the Aroma, yeah, the Aroma people and the um. Well, I forgot the other people. But the, but the point I'm making is he wanted to do that. That's on record. I would he dispute that. That was completely. a part of his proposal. I would I would completely dispute that. I'd have to see the records. I'd have to see exactly okay. what you're talking okay. about. Okay, I would I I I'm willing to show the people the record. Hey Sean, that's why I need to go on that website because that website has all that information, all that information. Yeah. But this is what I'm saying to you though. Ailey Selassie is not the majesty. He's not, he's not my majesty. He might be yours. I don't know why, because he has no power. He never did, and he doesn't have any power now. That's why they overthrew him in 1974. That was the end of him. He died miserable because he was a wicked, evil man. Why did they overthrow him in his own government? Why? Because they were trying to take over Ethiopia. Oh, so where was his power then? What do you mean? Where was his God, majestic, supernatural powers of being God in person? Where was that at? Well, see, that's what distinguishes us from other Rastafarians. We don't believe that Haile Selassie was supernatural. But that, that, <laughs> does, not, that does not mean he was not God. Oh, man. Hold on a second. I want to find the scripture that you said Moses married I'm, an Egyptian. I'm not, I'm not associated with common Rastafarians who believe in supernatural occurrences, right? We don't actually believe that Haile Selassie uh, didn't die in 1975. We accept his death, but that takes nothing away from his divinity. He's still God, even though his physical divinity? body passed away in 1975. What divinity are you talking about? What divinity? What divinity did he have? Explain that to me. He was a regular man that was wicked and evil. He didn't even appreciate black people. He considered himself Caucasian. He didn't even like black people. What are you talking about? Why did Marcus Garvey come out against him? Well, Marcus Garvey, I believe there was a misunderstanding between him and Haile Selassie. But also <laughs> at the same time, also at the same time, uh, you know, his majesty was never about white supremacy, black supremacy. You know, his, his supremacy was the supremacy of reason and logic over force and irrationality. That was, that was Haile Selassie's Supremacy. Okay. Hold on. Right. One so his, his, his Majesty said on. black and white as a form of speech should be eliminated from human society. Human beings are precisely the same, whatever color, race, creed, national origin they may be. So His Majesty really made no distinctions between so called black and white people. 
even though a lot of people in the Rastafari movement will make that distinction to this day. Oh, okay. Hey, and by the way, I, I made an error about the Kevin Agas. I don't mind being corrected by the gentleman here. Um, okay. let, but let me read something anyway. It says, according to the colophon attached to most of the existing copies, the, the Kebranegas originally was written in Coptic, then translated right. into Arabic in the year of mercy, 409, 1225, and then into Guise by a team of clerics in Ethiopia. So it, it's, easy, I wasn't, it's easy to get those two confused. The Feather Negas and the Kebranegas, it's easy to get those confused. You're, you're fine. Right, 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 right. But the bottom line is, though, it was written in Coptic. It was written in Guise first. That's saying a lot, too, if it was written in Coptic. But what I'm going to find yeah. right now is I'm going to look for this scripture. Um, Moses' wife in Numbers 12. Let me write, Let me find Numbers 12. Well, yeah, the only show... reason I was asking you about that was I just wanted to know to what extent you thought Ethiopia was mistranslated in the scriptures because we as Rastafarians, we accept his majesty's disposition concerning the different versions of the Bible where he said that all versions of the Bible are equal and they're all, they all have the same message. So we don't, we don't make a distinction between the different, the different versions of the Bible. That's, that's right? not because true. If, that's not true. If you have, if you have the proper... If you have the correct interpretation of the scriptures, no versions of the scriptures will contradict. But if you have if you have the incorrect interpretation of the scriptures, then the different versions you're gonna have to you know what I mean. You'll be looking at different. Right, would you would like you agree? The, would you agree? All right, the Greek Septuagint right is one of the oldest right, and the JPS yeah. Tanakh is basically from the Masoretes, which comes from the yeah. original Hebrew. Okay. Yeah, now yeah, let me ask yeah. you a question. The JPS yeah. Tanakh right it reads. And Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses because of the Cushite woman he had married, right. for he had married a woman, a Cushite. Now, look at right. this now. When I come down, hold on, I'm trying to see if I could find a translation. See, right here. Yeah, yeah. It's 3569. Three, it never said no Ethiopia. Ethiopia right, right, is, not right. in the, is not in the original text. It's the descendant of Cush. What I'm trying to but prove is, I wanna, hold on, I hold on. What I'm trying, if you look here, if you look at the words, right? Right here. Right. Hold on a second. Kushite, you see this? This is yeah. the word k k kaf. And this right here, these three little digits right here is what it gives it the U sound. This is the vowel sound, k. Right. Right? No, now, I understand. This but is, if, this but is if the etymology. I'm breaking it down. Hold on. I'm breaking it down so the people could see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on one second. Okay. I'm breaking it down so okay. the people could watch and see for themselves. The text, sure. the text sure. right here, family. Oh, my brother, hold on one second. Yeah. The text right here. Kushite, this is what the text says in the Masoretic text, right? The Hebrew text. So you see this, yeah. the kaf right here with the, the three little dots right here? That's the vowel sound for you. Now, this right here is called a sin, but it has a dot over the W on the right side, so it makes a shh sound. Shh. So Kushite. So this right here now, you see that, 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 that yod right here? And the end at the end? That's what makes it. This is a T sound at the end. So this is what makes it. It comes out as Kusit, which is Kushite in English. So this is what the original says. So if the original says this, it could not have said Ethiopian. Ethiopian is now a modern day translation of the word. This is what's wrong with the whole Ethiopian argument. It doesn't say Ethiopia. And the location of the Ethiopian, the Bible, again, is not where Ethiopia is located today. So that means I mean, whoever is going to Ethiopia is wrong. Haile Selassie was ruling the wrong country. Simple as that. I've even seen maps of all of Africa and the Atlantic Ocean called the Ethiopian Sea. Like all of Africa was called Ethiopia. In, in the 1600s, yes. 1700s, yes. Yeah. 1700s. I have that. Yes, I do. I agree. I agree with yeah, you. Yeah, all, all, all I'm saying all I'm saying is if etymology led you to the correct interpretation of the scriptures, you wouldn't need a mediator between God and man to help you interpret the, the yeah, Bible. Yeah, but, but so, the King, so, the King James Bible you know, has a lot of mistranslation. So that's expected. Right, but what you're telling me is that unless you understand Hebrew, you can't interpret the scriptures properly, and that's incorrect. You know, the Bible is written in That terrible. is correct. But that is correct incorrect. because, because incorrect in your because Bible... The Bible's written in the my, Bible is written brother. in parables, allegories, and prophecies, right? And it they're doesn't subject matter, to but the word, the word, the word Kushite is there. Anything. My brother, the word Kushite doesn't I, mean I, Ethiopia. I, I completely understand your argument, but you cannot tell me because that because the Bible is written in Hebrew originally that Haile Selassie was the worst person on, on the face of the planet. Like, that's 
That's no, 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 no. You talk, no, that, I never said that. I'm saying that Selassie is not related to Solomon, one, because Solomon hasn't been proved to be a real person. And second of all, if, if the, the, the lady that he, that Makeda, or whatever her name is, would come from Nubia. Yeah. Nubia, yeah. It, Nubia is where Kush is. Kush is not Ethiopia yeah. today. You have the wrong the spot, queen, brother. That's, this, this, is why you are, this is why you the, are the a Rastafarian. Queen. You see, you won't find no, guys like you not. claiming to be Nubians. You can't that's claim you come from really. Nubia. Because you don't yeah, want to uh, come from Nubia. You don't want to come from there because you know you're not from there. You are from Makeda. wherever you are from. Where are you from, brother? Where are you from? My parents are from Serbia, but Makeda is the queen of <laughs> Sheba, and Sheba is another word for Shoah. And Shoah is a city in Ethiopia, but I agree with you that Solomon never existed in antiquity. That, Solomon, the queen of Sheba. So how could, how could Selassie be related to this. Solomon? So how could Selassie claim he related to Solomon if he's divine, if he's connected to some higher power? Why is he lying to the people? In? He's not lying. It's a tradition for the monarchies to establish genealogies that support their religion. This is you know, just a, you know what? a tradition. I agree with you. I agree with you. You know what? Let me tell you this. What about before the Aksumite Empire? Who did they claim yeah. they come from? Who did they claim they come from before the Aksumite Empire? I mean, I, I really think it's irrelevant that... Uh, no, because I'm proving a point. I'm finish. proving you correct. I'm proving you correct. Yeah. That's why I ask you. The reason why I ask you is because the people never claimed they came from Solomon after the Aksumite Empire. Right. The only right. time they start claiming that is later on. So now the fact is, right. who those people in Ethiopia or Aksum used to worship Al-Maka. They used to worship Amon. They used to worship Meher. They used to worship all these different deities. Now, this whole yeah. thing came in when they got Christianized by Izana and Fru 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 um, Fruitmios or whatever, Fruitimos or whatever his name is, the I, white boy I, from I Greece. Agree. Frumentius. I, I agree. I agree. St. Frumentius. Yeah, I mean, it's true. But uh, I'm, what I'm telling you is common Rastafarans would argue with you about those points. We actually accept historical facts. You know, I'm, I'm part of the Order of Primus St. Croix. We don't actually fabricate um, events and things that happen within ethiopia so i agree i agree with you okay i'm just part of a, I'm, I'm part of a very specific denomination within rastafarianism we don't have the dreadlocks we don't smoke the cannabis we don't play the reggae music as much as the other you ones don't, so. you don't you don't play the reggae music man come on man we, we, we focus we focus on the scholarship you know scholarship is our uh, is our focus but i'm gonna let you go man oh, you made some good points man i appreciate you taking my call i really have to run but all right um, no problem yeah, take man. care man and follow me That's on Facebook, me. the Dagger Squad. All right? Peace. God bless. Peace. All right, one. I don't know about God blessing, but peace. All right. Who's next? <laughs> I'm telling y'all, family. You see, Garfield. Where, where Mika at? Because Mika always watching me. Mika, where you at? Come on here. Come on here, Mika. Let me send you a live. She ain't going to answer. You see your boy reading a little Hebrew? Where my Dewberry at? You see your boy reading a little Hebrew, man? See the calf? See the calf family? That's the K letter in Hebrew right there, the calf. But to make the sound of Kush, you need those three dots underneath. That's the vowel sound for you. So this W here is a she. It make a sh sound. Like Moshe. Moshe is Moses. You would use this letter to make that she sound. Okay? So that's how you get the letter, the word Kush. You don't have the, um, right here, I would change this at the end to get Kush. But, I mean, as a matter of fact, you know what? Let me find Kush for y'all so y'all can see Kush. K-U-S-H. Let's look at Kush. Damn, they ain't got the word Kush just by itself. Oh, man. What about C-U-S-H? See? See Kush? The word Kush? All right. But anyway, family, that was a good talk. I made my point. I made my points. And we're going to keep doing what we're doing and bring the information out, man. 
bring the information. Bring the information out. Because that's the only way our people, that's the only way our people going to get it, family. That's the only way. I'm trying to add you, Matt. Matt, I'm trying to add you. All right. I hope you guys learned something today. Hey, as the white man said, he said that they don't they deal with historical facts. So we could have a conversation. But I, God damn. That Haile Selassie, His Majesty, I don't know about all of that. I don't know about all of that, family. I don't know about all of that. <laughs> oh, man. I'm about to put this, put this whole live stream on my channel, yo. I'm about to put it on my channel. A lot of Ethiopians, my Jamaicans, going to unfriend me. I love y'all, my Jamaicans. Don't leave me out there, family. I love y'all, but y'all believe wrong, family. Y'all believe wrong. Y'all believe wrong, family. It's sad. It's sad, family. It's sad. It's sad. It's really sad, man. My whole Jamaican family and friends, all of them are Rastas. And imagine you worshiping something and you're not from that place. We go to Ethiopia. As a matter of fact, I got a cousin right now who moved to Ethiopia. That's not weird. That's not the real Ethiopia. How can I call her and text her that? Now she's probably watching my live. What the hell he talking about? I moved to Ethiopia and it ain't the real Ethiopia. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, they probably killed me at the pinnacle, bro. <laughs> they probably killed me at the pinnacle. Yo, family. Yo, I love my people, man. Yo, me and Jamaican people, man, we good. We good, man. Imagine me going to Jamaica. I'm running for prime minister 10 years from now. I'm in my 50s. And I go to Jamaica and tell him, yo, Rasta man, I fake thing that you know. Yo, them niggas probably shoot and kill me, yo. Point blank. Point blank, period. They're like, let's get this nigga out of here. Let's get this nigga out of here, man. Let's get this nigga out of here. It's, it's just crazy. It's crazy, this, man. Yo, what up? What up, kid? What's going on, brother? Uh, I just wanted to uh, let you know, because um, this is definitely relevant to the subject about Ethiopia. I was just doing research because of what we was talking about earlier, and I stumbled across something about Ethiopia. The guy that, um, his name is Herodotus, H-E-R-O-D-O-T-U-S. Herodotus, Herodotus. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, and he had visited Ethiopia in the fourth century. He was in all through Egypt. He was... In his uh, biography, he describes what he's seen in Egypt and in Ethiopia, okay? And in Ethiopia, he, he says the only gods that were being worshipped in Ethiopia were Jupiter and uh, Bakushin, if I'm, um, I'm pronouncing that right. And Bakushin li li literally means Osiris. So basically, the Ethiopians were studying the same information that the Egyptians were. Okay. And by the way, I, 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 run from, I run from Herodotus because Herodotus said that Egyptians, do you believe Egyptians was having sex with goats? Do you believe that? I did read. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't read that he, they was having sex. But I'm just saying, though, do you believe they did? Do you believe uh -uh. they did? No, no I, I, I don't Herod, believe But did. Herodotus said that. So if you use Herodotus in one source, why you can't you use it for another? What, you, what he was saying from what I read, from, from, from what I just read from the book, what he was saying was all the all these animals were sacred, okay? And he said it was certain sex. It wasn't all of e e uh, all the Egyptian, but it was certain uh, schools of thought that were actually studying goats and would do certain things a goat. He didn't go too deep in the book. He said it was certain things he didn't want to put out there about what they were teaching. But okay, uh, well let yeah. me let me say this: I don't believe Egyptians were fucking goats. I don't, I don't believe it. But they but, and he did say but, it was sacrificed. But, 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 Herod, but Herodotus did say, and I showed him my Shaka presentation, that they was, he said the Egyptians was fucking gold. He saw it with his own eyes. Now, that's, I'm going to tell you something true. about Herodotus. Herodotus may have not gone to Egypt. He may okay. have lied. 
He relied on um, Hecteus Melitus, the guy before him. There's a lot of places Herodotus didn't go, and he would act like he went. So okay. I don't know about Her – Herodotus has some good information, but when it comes to Egypt and Africa, I don't trust it. Hey, you don't I don't trust it. There's a couple things trust. in there that I found skeptical too, but one thing yeah. I did like that he yeah. said, that the people of Egypt – have been there since the beginning of time. He was literally trying to say that the Egyptians were clearly how black. Would, how would he know that? How would he know I, that? I, I know, I know. This is what his own opinion was. Anyway, it, I'll say this, though. Um, the, the, Ethiop, the people in, in what we call Nubia or Sudan or Tanahisi, Ta um, those people worshipped Al-Maka during the Demet Empire. It was an Arabic god from the 9th century all the way to the 4th century. Then they started worshipping Amun, which was an Egyptian god in the temple of yes. Yeha. All right, so there's no doubt they were mixing with the e Ethiop Egyptians. But remember, Taharka ruled Egypt and Nubia. So he um, ruled both. Because if you look on his, 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 his statue, you see the both signs for Egypt and Ethiopia that he ruled both of them, which is Nubia. All right? Um, and that's it, man. Anything else you want to talk about? No, that's just all I wanted to say. I, 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 I really wanted to uh, just elaborate on that. That's it. Okay. All right. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man. All right. Peace. All right, family. Y'all learned something today. Y'all, my peoples. Y'all know I, 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 if, I, if I'm wrong, the, the dude came on and said I made a mistake. The Kebrina guys written in, in Gies. If it was natives that wrote it. Why was it translated in Arabic first? So when it's written in Coptic, you got to ask yourself, Coptic in the 1200s? Why? Why was they writing Coptic in the 1200s? Mmm, something to think about. So when they said, when they said um, the Medjineta has not been translated, people are writing Coptic in the 1200s AD. <laughs> something to think about, family. This is why some of these conversations are so stupid. Yeah, Ma Wak is from the Aroma people, brother. I'm, I'm very familiar with Waka. Waka. I'm very familiar with a lot of the gods the Ethiopians worship. But again, has nothing to do with the ancient Kushites. That's the bottom line that I'm talking about. And that's the debate I want. Any one of y'all want to debate me on that, just let me know. Inbox me. Yo, Ar Aku, Morgan Heritage, mess up. <laughs> Yo, they would have, yo, the man, they would have chopped me up at Jamaica, Bridget. They would have chopped me up. What? What do you mean Ethiopia ain't Ethiopia? Are you crazy? Yo, the man, they would have limb up my blood clot. They would have limb me up. Big time. Limb up my blood clot. Limb me up. Limb me up big time. Big time. <laughs> Yo, Aku, you better stay far from me. You better unsubscribe and leave me alone. <laughs> yo, yo, Morgan Heritage, third world. All them Rasta, man. Yo, the man, they would have beat me up, kill me, brethren. They would have killed me. Yo, me have, yo, me don't know if I go back a yard again. Let me tell you how to stay far in. Yo, trust me, man. People, but on the wrong part of the thing, brethren. On the wrong. Matthew. Oh, go on. <laughs> hey, Garfield. Yo, the rest of them, if I look for me in Florida, if I look for me at the shop. What's good, man? What's up? The rest is in Florida looking for me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, them, he, them Hebrews looking for you, bro. <laughs> yo, I got the Hebrews, hey, man. man. I got the rest hey, man. Everybody mad right now, yo. Big man thing. Everybody mad. Hey, do me. Them Hebrews gonna beat you up, man. They gonna beat, they beat well, you them all the time. They, hey, they, hey, you done, you done learned some Hebrew, bro. Oh, oh man. man. You saw that shit I was doing a while ago? <laughs> yeah, I got to learn. I got a long I way to go, it, but I'm learning, though. I'm learning. That's I'm what's learning. up, man. I'm learning. I can't do nothing but salute you on that. Yeah, man. What you Look, think about you know I don't got big eyes. Hey, you know I don't got big eyes, but I was trying to stretch my eyes like this. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about this whole Ethiopia thing, man? Because in the Bible we see Kush, and in the English now they put Ethiopia, so it's like a big confusion, and it confuses. And boy, oh boy, I know my whole Jamaica. Yo, bro, I got relatives living in Ethiopia, bro. 
in today's Ethiopia, which is not the biblical Ethiopia. And, and, and it causes right. a problem because when you tell people like this, you know, they're like, oh, you're foolish, it's your talk, and ray, 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 and I don't understand, man. This shit is crazy, man. Man, it, it's kind of like, how can I explain it? You had, if you look at a map, right, and we could all agree that maps that we look at are distorted because the Europeans tell you they're distorted. So, but they have like Sudan written across the map, right? Uh huh. Spelt, spelt a variety of ways. They got Sudan written across the map from it stretched from West Africa all the way to modern Ethiopia. Then you have a variant form of that word Sudan, which they attach to the word Arabia. They say Saudi, right? Right. And we know. You know, if you break it down, we're dealing with suits, soil, stuff like that. But when you're dealing with translations, right? Like in a in a in a in a Tanakh, you're not finna see the word Ethiopia though. That's just a Greek derivative because we looking at we're looking at the Bible from an English translation. You get what right, I'm saying? Right, right. Good point. Good point. So so when you get into the transliteration, you go see like what you what basically what you display. Like when you go up, when you zoom in on Kush, zoom in on that word Kush. Yeah. Okay. When you go into the translation, the symbol or that that you know that um abject that abject that you know basically that symbol that correspond with a with a sound it's no it's no c there you get what i'm saying it's a right, k right 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 it's a k right, right. From right mm -hmm. to love. so a lot of people when they look at this right, it's like we could say we could say that it's hebrew but it's it's really not hebrew it's like watered down phoenician at the end of the day yep or yep. canaanite right uh -huh. yeah so what happens is what happens is you had a people that they call the Messerets. They put those little Nakuds or dots right there. Right, 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 they, right. They basically mm -hmm. represent vowels. You get what I'm saying? Right. So, to help with the so when you look mm -hmm. at the symbol, when you look at the symbol that look like a backward C, yeah. which is really a which rep which represent a K, right in the middle of it, you have a you have that dot right there. Right. That particular dot. It represents that you right there. You get what I'm saying? Uh huh. Now, if mm -hmm. you look, if you look at the the S, the S symbol, or the symbol that looked like a flame at the end, mm -hmm. it's a it's a dot on top of it. Right. That that dot represents an O. You get what I'm saying? So, if you really tried to pronounce that word, it wouldn't be Kush. It would be Kuwash. You feel what I'm saying? But it's still referring to Kush or the original word that the Egyptians um Kush, right. Or Egyptians Kush. Kush. Right, you know right, 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 right. Yes, sir. But mm -hmm. but no, you're not gonna see Ethiopia nowhere. Now you got an older um you have an older version of the Bible. Oh, I can't think of what it is, but that word Kush <laughs> is also synonymous with the word blackamore. Wow. I can't, bro. I, I actually, I, I go into my um notes tonight, and I find, I find a translation, bro, where they use the word Kush and they use the word Black or more synonymous. You get what I'm saying? Hey, hey, on a different note though, can you imagine a white boy coming to me as a Jamaican and saying I'm a Rastafarian? Can you imagine that shit, bro? <laughs> you tripping. Yo, I'm like, what the blood clot? <laughs> Yo. He tripping, man. You talk, I seen a dude that was on, he tripping by now. No, like, that shit is funny as hell, though. But he does, he does, but he's smarter than them, though. He's smarter than them. He actually using real history. He said, he said Solomon don't exist. That's what he said. Yeah, the, bro, listen, you got. When you break down the paradigm of religion, bro, you know, man, you, you basically into um man, man. 
you in I call it the belief zone. You got you know Henoism, you got polytheism, you got mono monotheism, you got um animism, you feel what I'm saying? Yep. And a lot of people don't they don't they don't really be knowing what's really going on, bro, when it comes to belief. And what I do know about belief, one thing I can say about belief, it keeps you void of rationalizing. You get what I'm saying? Like hey, somebody do me a favor, man. Um, Monica is live right now on the Brother Garfield live channel. Hold on, let me let me put it in the chat so everybody could tune in, man. Leave from here. You want to learn? So you see, people love debates, man. But sometimes you got to get some economics in your system. Let me let me put it put it in the chat right now, so people could go tune in and watch Sister Monica. She teaching, man. I leave her, let her do her thing. She got eight people watching, family. It should be two thousand watching. Let me say Garfield versus Arm um, Sonnet are polite. Everybody would be on there right now, commenting. Like that, right? My sister Mo teaching yeah. right now, man. Yeah. Hold up, wait that, wait that, wait that, wait that. There you go. Look at all this stuff she got. She made presentations and everything every Wednesday, man. Y'all gotta check her out, family. Check her out right now, man. Let me put it in the chat. There's an association, and those associations they have grants. So if you want to work towards a project, boom, there it is. You go to those associations. Then you got your Matt Newberry, somebody said you correct, said the older version said more. What older version, Ross? Ross? Ayachala, what older version oh, are you talking man. about? I think you mistake me, what you're saying. Let me, let, me think, bring, you, let me bring my tablet out, bro. I think you mistake me, what you're saying, though. No, it, it's an older version. It's an older because you know a lot of people, they they familiar with the King James version of the Bible. It's a version that date back. Probably like thirty years, thirty years prior to the King James, and it got the word Blackamoor in it. Oh, okay. Oh, you mean before? You mean prior to King James? Yeah, it's a it's a Bible that's prior to King James. I'm you got to you got to get you got to get that source for me, bro, so I could check that out. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what what. I just pulled my, yo, my phone is out, mad so hot, yo. Let me jump off. But family, y'all tune in. I got the YouTube at the bottom of the screen. Y'all go check out Sister Monica out, man. I'm about to go in there right now. Peace and love, family. My phone is hot as fire. Peace and love, family. Yo, Matt, inbox me that 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 source. Peace. Y'all go check out.